Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to go over who the best infielders are in MLB The Show 21. We're going to go over all the five tool players and the best cards you guys can have on your squad. So you guys do me a favor as always. Make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. The other day we did the uh, we did the outfielders and we'll be doing uh, pitchers here in just a couple days. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, but you guys make sure you are subscribed though because here on Sunday, September 5th, we're doing the giveaway for the Ronald Acuna Jr. autographed mini helmet right here live on the channel on YouTube, 11 a.m. Central. Just like we do every Sunday, man, we do a subscriber Sunday games, playing against subs. So you guys make sure you're subscribed. That's the only rule for the giveaway, but we do those every Sunday. So you guys tune in at 11 a.m. Central. Uh, let's go ahead and get right here to the video about the best infielders. But first, make sure to check out the sponsor on today's video, ahmlb.com, where you guys can get cheap stubs to finish those collections off and get those awesome cards for your squad. Use code BIG at checkout for 5% off. All right, you guys, so we're going to cover these best infielders here real quick, but I do want to give a quick shout out and a big thank you, you guys. I just posted a video yesterday that was for members only. You can become a member of the channel by joining in the link down below. It's a way to make over a million stubs every 48 hours. Uh, we had to leave it a little bit limited on there uh, and didn't want to put it public because it would have ruined the deal. So uh, members of the channel get access to that. So I want to give a quick shout out to those people that became members here recently, uh, SOB, Stang Boy, FB, Poor Judgment, I appreciate that, man. Bob G, Zellius Ward, Manny O, Ricky Moss, Bub Gaming, Vots, Chris Nash, Chuck Byers, and Raider Cell. Thank you guys for becoming members and stepping into the batter's box here on the channel. We're going to have some new perks coming up very soon for that also. So let's go ahead and get here to it, though. All right, so this is the first one. This is going to be the first card. We're going to go over several infielders throughout this process. Uh, we'll go over all positions and everything and cover uh, several of each one. And not all of them are going to be uh, unobtainable or very expensive in the market. By all means, you'll be able to get some of them for free also. So uh, definitely pay attention to those along the way. But Francisco Lindor, we just got him the other day. 99 Frankie Lindor. I love his 99 that they come out with each year. It's typically a finest card. Uh, this is the first year I believe we've gotten a signature for him. Uh, this is a great card though, man. Awesome contact, awesome power. Five tool player all around right here. 75 speed. Wish it could be a little bit higher, but 79 once you uh, once you get it paralleled up to P5. So that's not too terribly bad. Um, obviously, just laying the smack down on the defense, man. He's, he's crazy over there. So he's got the glove at third. Love this card. I use him at third base. That's where I'm using him. I'm not using him at short. Uh, so he can he can play in those other positions and still just catch everything, man, like a vacuum. I know he's shortstop, but I've got, I've got him at third because I've got one of these other guys that's on this list here at shortstop. Uh, so let's go on and move on to the next one. All right, the next one of the best infielders in the game is going to be 99 overall Chipper Jones. Obviously, this is the live series collection reward. We know this one's expensive. You guys can make enough stubs to get this thing uh, through uh, through that video, definitely to members only, uh, because there you can do it in a day or two, seriously, and get this get the whole collection done. Uh, pretty crazy stuff, man. 108, 125 on the contact, 113, 125 on the power. Uh, he's got gold fielding once you get him. Uh, paralleled as you guys know I said yet uh, the other day in the video that uh, the best outfielders the one of the parameters was keeping them they got to be at least gold fielding gold fielding I wasn't going to put anybody out there who couldn't be at least super fractured or parallel fived to gold fielding because that's going to be the five tool for me I needed him to be at least gold out there uh, in the outfield for the infield it's a little bit different on third base and first base it doesn't matter as much but for for shortstop and second I definitely want gold or diamond uh, and cl as close to diamond as I possibly can. This for for third base being gold is going to be okay. He does pretty good over there, uh, so that's a great option for third base for you. All right, now this card was available in the in the daily moments uh, program for the month of July. I believe it was the month of July. Uh, Pablo Sandoval, 99, 97 overall. Pablo Sandoval, sorry, not ninety nine. It's actually a great card, man. He's not going to have five tools. All right, but third base, like I said, third base, first base, catcher. Those guys aren't going to. It's going to be hard to find five tool guys for those because of speed all right a lot of times those are your slowest guys on your team so let's take that speed out of the equation and we're looking for four tool players i guess at first base third base and catcher but 116 contact on this thing 85 on the contact against lefties is still plenty good 113 on the power and 75 power against lefties he's he look he, he's gonna hit righties much better but he hits lefties just fine so it's a great card diamond defense over there at third base once you get him paralleled uh, up to P5, man, he can he can have diamond defense at first too, so that's pretty good. Uh, but crazy, man, this card this card's great. Switch hitting cards, I love switch hitting cards. You guys have noticed a pattern here. All three of these first ones have been so 
Uh, I love switching cards, but don't worry. They're not all going to be switch hitters, I promise. We'll move on here to the next one. Former former Baltimore Orioles, great. Here it is, Manny Machado, 97 overall Manny Machado. And sorry about that, guys. I had a text come in right there at the last second when I was finishing up that last card. Uh, so, kid, let me know they're on the bus. So, Manny Machado, here we go, man. 97 overall, 98 on the contact, 79 on the contact against lefties. Not as high as you'd like it. I know it would be a little bit better if it was better. A little bit higher than that, but he's got good enough power to uh, reach the thresholds, the power thresholds. He's got great fielding at 95. He's going to have uh, 99 fielding once you uh, get him P4. Uh, so very good. 62 speed. He's actually not too slow. Uh, you know, I mean, 60, 66, 67 speed. Once you get him uh, paralleled up, that's not bad. That's not bad, man. He's going to be able to, to to run some doubles and, and hit a few triples as well if you get him in the gap pretty good. So he can play shortstop for you also. Manny Machado. Great card option here for you guys early on. All right, the next option is going back over to the switch hitting side of the of the field. I can't help it, man. I love switch hitters. I just can't help it. Uh, but here we go. Wander Franco, 99 overall. Wander Franco, 122, 110 on the contact, 99, 89 on the power. This card does it all. He does it all. He's fast. He's got the fielding, the diamond fielding. Uh, he'll be gold at secondary positions. But I keep him at short. He does great over there. Great reaction. Um, I, I love this card. He, he smacks everything. I absolutely love this card. Uh, he's done great for me. So if you guys haven't checked this card out and played with this, uh, I know it was a card we all wanted last year and never got. So I know a lot of people are very interested to use it for the remainder of the year. And uh, it's one that's going to be really hard to leave my squad also. So pretty good card here. But let's go ahead and check out the next one. All right, the next card is a completely free card. It's a free 99 overall diamond that can play short, second, and third. Why do you not have this card already if you don't? You need to have this card, all right? It's free. You guys can go into moments and get this thing. It was actually in the Field of Dreams moments. Uh, so go in there. There's like a separate little section you can find it at. 108, 118 on the contact. He's got a glitchy swing in the game. 98, 108 on the power. 89 fielding. Just parallel in one time. You've got diamond fielding at short. So that's awesome. He's got enough speed with 79 speed. Great card, man. Short, second, and third, like I said, for those all those positions right there. But this card, this card's very enjoyable. 125 clutch, by the way, also. That helps. That actually helps quite a bit when you have runners in scoring positions. So keep that in mind. But Tim Anderson TA here is a great card. Uh, free 99. You, you can't ever argue about a free 99. So let's go ahead and check out the next one, though. It was also a free card. Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. This one wasn't a free card. I was thinking it was an all-star card, and this one wasn't free. I don't think it's very much, though, in the in the market, right? This one's like 14,000 stubs. It's really not a whole lot. You can probably get it for 10-ish. Uh, but a great card, a really glitchy swing. Great card. A lot of people enjoy this card. Xander Bogart's. 96 overall once you parallel it it's a 99 but man a lot of people it plays like a 99 for 122 116 on the contact 89 and 91 on the power uh he's gonna have gold fielding 62 speed wish it was a little bit better you know your infielders having that crazy lightning speed is great whenever you can it's not gonna like it's not gonna kill you though all right having it in the outfield is much better because you'll be able to track down balls hitting the gaps that you might not be able to get with uh slower 60 speed guys so uh, in the infield, it's not as important. I know we've I've kind of driven this home. First, third, and catcher aren't the speedy guys, but uh, sometimes your shortstops aren't the speediest. 62 is fine. Once you get in parallel, like I said, it's 67. That's not too bad. You'll still be able to get plenty of doubles and all that, but it's still a good card, man. So let's go ahead and move on here to the next one. All right, this next one here, we're moving on to second baseman, and it's going to be 99 overall Joe Morgan from the Cincinnati Reds. This card is insane. There's a lot of reasons why this card's crazy. I'm going to tell you guys, First of all, super quick swing. He's got a super quick swing. He stands really, really inside on the plate. All right, so he's right up on the plate, and he gets hit by a lot of cutters and sliders. And when you can get a guy that gets on base like that and hit a lot with 95 speed, 99 stealing, that's pretty good, man. Not only that, but when they threw it over the plate, he can actually actually just absolutely destroy it. So inside, inside pitches, he seems to turn on pretty well. He's got that really quick swing, like I said. High clutch, high contact, good power. Uh, great power against righties, decent power against lefties. Once you uh, once you parallel it, it gets pretty close to the thread. It's almost at 79. It's at 79. That's what it'll be. Yeah, it's close. Against lefties, though, you'll be okay. Maybe platoon him if you like to do something like that. But a great option here in Joe Morgan out of the current inning program. All right, our second option here at second base is going to be 99 overall Jackie Robinson. This card, a lot of people have this card already, all right? Uh, you can get it with the 42 series. I think most of us have kind of collected this card if we've had the game for a while at this point. Uh, but it's a really great card. Uh, he smacks. They finally gave this Jackie Robinson card power this year, which has been a very important thing uh, because in past years, he was usable uh, for a little while, but then 
maybe off the bench or something for speed. He was never really a guy you could leave in the lineup all year. And this is a card that people could have in their lineup the entire year. He's over the power threshold. He's got almost max contact, max vision, max discipline, max, max clutch, max bunt, almost, you know, diamond fielding, max speed. This card, this card does it all. He really does it all. So it's a great card. He's got a lot of pop. And uh, I really enjoy this card. I'll, I'll, this will probably be on my squad all year, at least in some form or way. Uh, in the bench or something like that. So let's take a look at the next one here, though. All right, this next one might be a little bit of a sleeper card pick for you guys. It's a free card. You guys can go get this in Team Affinity Season 3. 106-100, Jake Cronenworth. That's the contact. I started reading the contact before it said his name. 98 overall, Jake Cronenworth. 106-100 on the contact. 97 power. 76 power against lefties. Once you uh, parallel that, that's going to get up to 81. So that's really great. He's over that threshold of 80. That's where we like that to be at. He's a gold fielder, but once you parallel it at the at the primary position, he is diamond at second base to a 90. He's got speed at 83 speed. That's great. If you guys look at the secondary positions, you'll see something a little crazy. Relief pitcher. He also plays first, third, and short, but relief pitcher. So, yeah, if you're up by more than six runs, six or more runs at any point, you can bring him into a game. I believe if you're down by more six or more runs, also you can do the same thing. And he can pitch the game for you so you don't waste your arms in the bullpen. So, very interesting option with this card right here. That's the same way the Otani card works too, by the way, just in case you guys weren't aware with the uh, six uh, six run rule, whether you're up or down by six or more. So uh, pretty great card here. Let's go ahead and look at another option for second base. 98 overall Ozzy Albies. We had, to, we had to put him in here. I put so many switch hitters in here. How did you not know Ozzy Albies was going to make it? He had to. Look, I wish the contact was a little bit higher against righties. I would probably use this card if it was a little bit higher. Um, I just have guys at second base that I'm more comfortable with at the moment. So, um, so that's, that's been the, the kind of nah, for me on this card, but, uh, but it's a great card against lefties. He's great. He's got the great power. Uh, I know a lot of people just, just absolutely knock bombs with this card and it's, and it's great. I, I, it is a good card. It's just not one that's going to make my starting squad personally, but I bet he's on a lot of y'all starting squads. So, uh, gold fielding with this card, he's got the speed as well. Uh, as well as some nice clutch there to be able to uh, to get those runners in in scoring position. So when he's got shortstop as a secondary, that's great. Always love a nice Ozzy Albies card. Right, the last of our second baseman here is going to be Marcus Simeon, 96 overall Marcus Simeon. It's the player of the month card uh, back from May. We know this. It's a great card, man. High contact, high vision. He's got the fielding there at Diamond uh, once you get him uh, paralleled a little bit. And then he's got speed too. So uh, 77 speed. He'll be up to 78 by the time you're done. I must just like most of the uh, second, third, short stops, they kind of play multiple positions. So he's got the third short as secondaries as well. There we got uh, we got first base. And now we're going to move on to and then we'll cover catchers here really quick. All right. So the first first baseman is a little bit expensive. I know this one's a little bit expensive in the market, but Vlad Guerrero Jr. is, in my opinion, the best first baseman available in the game. Hands down right now. I love this card. Glitchy swing. Uh, just insane. If you have an opportunity to get this, to, to get this card, get it. You guys check out my stub making method in that members uh, video. You guys can join below uh, because you can have this card today and it is the best first baseman. And, and look, if you look at the numbers on it, there's not going to be a whole lot of better first baseman the whole year. I mean, really, seriously, uh, a little bit higher contact, whatever, but the power is almost max. He's got gold fielding. He's slow. He's slow as shit. All right, 47 speed. So he's going to hit a ball off the wall occasionally, and you're only going to get a single out of it, and you're going to be mad. That's that's what's going to happen. But just just get some air under it and get it up, and it'll hit it over the wall, and then you don't have to worry about that. So he hits plenty of bombs. This card's insane. He plays third base too, uh, and he'll have silver defense over there at third uh, once you get him parallel. All right, second great option for first base is going to be a switch hitter. Surprise. All right, it's Eddie Murray, 99 overall Eddie Murray. This card rakes, man. This card smacks. I don't know if you guys know this. He's got. A, he's always one of the glitchiest swings in the game each year. Uh, I don't know what it is. His swing is very quick. Uh, being able to have that from both sides of the plate is insanity. 96 uh, fielding on this card, too, at first base is crazy. 54 speed. He's not fast. You're going to get that occasional ball off the wall again, just like Vlad. But first baseman are going to do this to you. It's just hard to find first basemen that are fast. If you can play it with, like, Jackie Robinson or something at first, You've got speed over there that by all means go for it. The speed thing's the only thing that kills on this card. And and that's not a it's not a factor. I mean it's a non-factor. You just you, you can work around it. It's no big deal. This card absolutely mashes though. You guys make sure to check out Eddie Murray if you're interested here. All right, and the last of the first baseman, the last of the first baseman is gonna be Joey Votto. All right. I didn't put Big Poppy on this list, and I know he's a great card, but God, he's been out since the launch, you know. We all love it. 
I didn't put him on here because of the fielding. The fielding is the reason that he didn't make it onto the list, man. He's uh, it, it's subpar field, and I know we've all played games against him. He's made plays over there that we just question. How did he make that play? But uh, look on paper, on paper, we're going with the best players on paper, and this is eighty three fielding. He's got gold over at first base for you, so not not a lot of balls are going to get by you down the line. Uh, great contact, great power. He is obviously better against righties. Still great against lefties, though. Uh, very quick swing here in Joey Votto. Uh, you guys can check out the shirt in the merch shop. It's only available, the Joey Votto Who's On First shirt with Redhead on it. It's only available the rest of this week. So you guys make sure to pick that up if you're interested, interested also. All right, we got four catchers, four catchers to cover, and then we're done. All right, let's cover those four catchers right now. All right, guys, the first one, the first one, and you guys are going to laugh at me because he made the best outfielder list the other day. I don't care if it's a secondary. I don't care at all. He's making it because he's a gold catcher. He ends up with gold fielding when you put him in his secondary after you get him uh, paralleled up to P5. It's Kyle Schwarber. We don't need to cover this card anymore. You guys know this card's insane. It's free, too. Uh, you can go get it in the uh, uh, in the program there for the monthly awards program. But awesome card in Schwarber right here. I don't think he's leaving the whole year. I don't know how he does. So pretty great one here. But he does platoon with this next card for me. And that is 97 overall Salvador Perez. I think this card is better than the Home Run Derby one, just overall uh, fielding and everything in general. I just think it's a, a better, more rounded, more well-rounded card, uh, but maxed contact and power against lefties. So I, like I said, I platoon him with uh, Schwarber at catcher, and it's great. He's obviously got gold fielding. That's great. Uh, he's slow. It's a catcher. He's going to be slow. You can't expect much more. So great card here. Two more options here for catcher for you, though. And one of them is JT Real Muto, 98 overall JT Real Muto, the all-star game card. This card's really good for a lot of people. I'm not great with this swing. I don't know what it is. I've, I've, I've been hit or miss in the past with it, but for some reason, I'm just not great with it. You guys might be, uh, and that's great. Doesn't mean it's not a great card. It's a great card. Uh, gold fielding, it'll get up to that 85 threshold once you uh, once you parallel it. 74 speed, that's the crazy thing on a catcher with this card. He's fast. For a catcher, 74 is fast, so you can get up to 79 speed. Um, you know, you're not going to be worried about hitting balls off the wall and not getting doubles out of them. That's for sure. But uh, great content, great power out of this card. And uh, something about this swing for a lot of people just works. I'm just not one of them. I don't know what it is. It's kind of crazy. And then we also have, uh, we're going back, of course, the last guy for the catchers, for the catchers. Look, I'm going to back out here. We're just going to go over to him. It is Carlos Santana. I know I'm still picking this card and it's kind of crazy that I am maybe because it's been out for a while and it's only a 95 diamond, but it's the ability to catch on this card that's great with me. I think once you get it, um, once you have it paralleled up to four and he's at gold catcher, that's pretty good, man. The only other option and kind of like, uh, I know he's almost made the list, almost made the list is the the new 95 overall uh, Jorge, uh, Jorge Posada, because uh, I believe he has gold fielding once you parallel it. Um, it's not too bad. It's a good card. Uh, but it's uh, the contact is not as good as the other one, the 90 diamond. And I, I just didn't know which one to put on there. His 90 diamond's great, too. I love that card, but the fielding sucks. So these cards are great, man. These infield cards are great. There's a lot of great options. You guys don't have to pick all of them. You know, I gave you a, a ton on this list, and there's plenty for you to be able to choose from. Uh, to be able to make a squad out of. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Y'all do me a favor. As always, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe. It's down here. Subscribe to the channel. Man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Peace.